I've been waiting eight months to say these words and it's gonna feel so good. But welcome everyone to a Brickitech studio that I'm finally proud of. It's August right now and we've been living here since January and my whole entire studio, as you guys know, have, has been in a complete disaster and a mess. And I finally have taken the time to get it all nicely organized and I'm just so proud of it and I wanna take you on a tour of it. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. Where to begin? I guess we'll just start right when you come down the stairs here. The first thing that I wanted you guys and myself to be able to see is the sig fig wall. This is something that means so much to me because this is a representation of our community. And I wanna be able to walk down the stairs and the first thing that I think about are all the people that make this channel possible. And I know that sounds super cheesy, but it's honestly how I feel. Like these are the people that allow me to live my dream. And these are the people that have sent us packages and thought enough of us to include themselves in there as well. And they're up on a wall to be celebrated. So I think that's really cool. And if you send us mail, you might even see yourself up here right now and you're part of our studio. And I'm just super proud of that. So I wanted that to be the first thing you saw when you come down. But right beside that, you guys know that before we had a couple other walls, I've taken those apart because I didn't want too many things up here. In fact, this door, which is gonna have a missing pieces poster on it soon, I paid for priority shipping on this thing and it's still like in the quality review process. So this isn't a complete tour, but uh, there's gonna be a missing pieces poster up there that you'll see when I'm actually recording the episodes. That door swings open like this and I didn't want it to like hit into the wall. So we have two walls, one of which, one of which, one of which is is your sig figs. The other is all of the Greg and Clark sig figs we get. You guys always come up with ideas on how to make us. And I, there's a lot. In fact, there's more than this. I'm trying to pick them all out of the pile that I have. But there's the Greg's. There's a Mrs. Brickitect. I'm gonna try to get her too. So in the future, if you wanna send us anything, just send you a letter in your sig fig because we've got a little bit of space left for you guys up here. But if you wanna send something else, send a Clark man. Send a, a Greg Gregitect and we'll load this wall up and it's gonna look really cool. So. That's kind of like a, a, a vision for the future and something that I'm working on. And I love that. I love the way these walls look. If anyone's wondering how these are made, this is going to be a bit of a longer video, just so you know. All I did is buy a cheap frame from Walmart. I bought a piece of black poster board from Walmart and I took make a block tape and I just put it all along there, cut all equal sizes and loaded it up, figured out how about how far I wanted all of them to be, like in terms of distance for the minifigs. And boom, you got yourself a, a sig fig wall or minifig wall or whatever you're into. You can put anything on there, actually, anything Lego. But uh, that takes us to our next little spot here. You guys have seen this behind me. This used to be the backlog wall. And as time went by, thankfully, it started getting pretty sparse. I had four things set up. Now it's down to, well, I had four backlog shelves, which was sparse. And then I decided that I'm going to move my stuff. Is this making any sense? <laughs> What I'm trying to say is this is my completed sets and if I come back here, you guys will see, this is our table where we sit at typically when we do videos. And I wanted the thing to behind us, not to be just random boxes sitting around, but I wanted to be a celebration of all the things we built. You guys are gonna see a theme here. It's like a celebration of what this channel is and what it's about and in this case, they are all the sets that we built. So when we do our videos, you're gonna kind of see it like this and I think it looks absolutely awesome, way better than it did before. Let me take you over here and I'll show you, I guess briefly what's on here. Maybe we'll do like a whole shelf tour, but. You guys can kind of see some of the things we built and you probably, I think you've probably seen every single thing that's up here on this channel at some point or another. I just think this looks amazing, especially with these lights coming down here. Boom, it just looks so good. We got sets on sets and I kind of did it by theme a little bit, but some of it's kind of just here and there. And this is probably gonna change over time as well because I only have so much space, but uh yeah, I love the way that looks. Next on our tour, we've got the Brickitect editing bay, I guess, and also Clarkman Gaming Studio. Got the PlayStation 4 hooked up right over here. Clark plays Minecraft here. I just got the Brickitect canvas in. You guys remember the Brickitect poster before? We're moving up in the world, baby. We've got a canvas. I've literally had this thing sitting on the floor of the Brickitect studio since I think the last day of February. And I kept thinking like, I'm going to make this video where I show myself unboxing it and putting it up and doing all this. And I just never did it. So I was like, you know what? The time is now, let's get this thing up. And we've got the square Brickitect poster back there. So if you come down here and you got the light on that, oh my gosh, it looks so good. I've got my computer here. I tried to go very minimalist when it comes to like setup. So I just want like clean spaces and that's what you'll see here. I've got a clean table, clean table, at least for now, I'm gonna try to keep it that way. But this is just a little TV we have here for gaming and I hook that up to my computer when we do uh, streams from the PlayStation. This is just like all my extra, I guess all my stuff like cables and tape and you know, equipment and stuff is in here. So that I don't think is gonna be permanent. It's just kind of the way it is for now and the way it is. Beside that, we're just gonna keep taking you guys around here. 
turn some more lights on. How dare you? I think we have... <laughs> janky brick tech studio i got no light in there but uh this is just some pieces that i have here again this is another thing i'm trying to figure out i've got pieces here this is i guess you know i'm just trying to put some things together and this kind of works in my mind the way that stuff is set up but this is what i started with and then i went to this i know this tour is a little over the place i went to these small ones which are nice for smaller items that kind of outgrown my collection and then i moved on to this this is a recommendation from dave Got these, uh, I guess they are 14 and a half by 14 and a half sterile light containers or they're 12 by 12. And then you can have them like this or you can get these little inserts, which he recommended to me from, I think like Michael's. And you can put your stuff in there like that if you are so inclined. So that's that. And over here, right beside that now, we have the new Bricktech backlog. This is, these were all the sets that I have yet to build in my collection. This formerly was my display stand and it just seemed like such a shame to have all my display pieces over here where you guys never see, cause this is kind of like the corner of the studio that we never go, but that's gonna change. They're there now. So to get this into like context, because I know it's hard when people do tours, it sucks when you can't see, like they show you all this stuff, but you don't get an idea of where you're at in the grand scheme of things. So as I kind of come around here, you guys can see like, that's where we do the videos at. That's my editing spot. That's where you come down the stairs. And if you're trying to make this in Minecraft, this will be very easy for you. So come down the stairs there. You come around here. Backlog is over here. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time in this. If you guys want a backlog tour, give me some likes on this video. I'm just kidding. I'll do a backlog tour for you guys in the future, but they're all the sets we have yet to build. All stacked up there, looking amazing. Over here, this is uh, Clark Man's trains. These are mostly from Pops, the trains that he sent us. I like to have these easily accessible so he can just bust those out and start building some stuff. Oh, we got other Batman stuff here too. I'm finding stuff that I don't even know exists. Oh, there's extra, this is stuff people have sent to us. Oh, I remember the Brickitech Studio. Brickitech stuff, yeah, there's the wooden duck. It's cool, but yeah, there's more trains, Disney train, it's in there. This is a set we just recently built. I think I'm gonna probably put that in there, but eventually this is gonna change up a little bit because I have this table right here, which I guess is gonna be the next part of the tour. This table right here, I don't think is gonna be like a permanent thing, but I feel like this would be a great workspace right here because it's kind of just out in the middle of nowhere and you've got this pole here. I thought how cool would it be to have a table there that's kind of more like a stand at table. You've got yourself, uh, some drawers down below there where you can put stuff. But what I want to do ideally is once the backlog gets pretty much defeated, I'm going to put that into storage, into my storage room, which is off to the side here. And I'm going to move that table back and that's going to be where Classic Land goes is along the wall there. And I have another one of these tables and I was thinking about moving one of those tables right here. So I'd have two of those gray tables. And the reason I have it is because the one that I got is a little bit damaged and I paid pretty good money for that gray table. And I was like, you know what? That's unacceptable. This is damaged. So I emailed the company. And I was like, there's a, there's an issue with this. And they're like, okay, we'll send you another one. So I, I put the good one down here, but I still have the bad one. It's like, it's a shame just to throw it away or whatever. So why not put it to use? It's got some like scratches and dings, but do you really care? Do I really care? Does it matter when it's filled with Lego? Speaking of filled with Lego, this is all of my stuff that I'm kind of currently working on. I plan to do a Harry Potter showcase with all the Harry Potter sets we got. That's a Jurassic World set that Clark Man built that I want to do like a video on, at least to show it off. And uh, we got Stranger Things we're working on here and the Hidden Side bus, which I, I don't know if I can bring myself to tear apart because it's my favorite Hidden Side set. And I'm like, I, I hate to put it back in the box. So I might keep that out. Over here, so out in context, you know, the backlog's over there looking, looking absolute fire. Over here, these are like all of my parts. We've got pieces on pieces. We got plates. We got, oh, I even started labeling stuff. I got one of these label makers, which is, I highly recommend if you're a Lego person, Get yourself a label maker. This is a brother one. I did a lot of research on which ones to go. This one had really good reviews. We got mini figs from Wall. So these are all the Wall ones that I took down. We've got Need Sorted. This is stuff we got in the mail or mocks that Clark's built that I just need to sort out. But then we get into like weird shaped plates. We got four and greater wide plates. We got male mini figs in here. Male as in M-A-I-L. We've got uh, two wide plates. We've got the singles. We've got Thank you guys for this. We've got tires. This is a friend's yard sale lot that I got. I'm gonna put labels on all these, I think, just because like, obviously I can't see what's in there, but I can. And yeah, we got more minifigs up here. It's it's out of hand, the minifigs guys. You guys are, you're mad men and women. If you're still with me on the tour, that is the back wall where we have all of those stacked up. And I could even go higher if I wanted to. We could probably go another one on top of that. Those are three drawer bins 
that I got for a really good price, I feel like. So we could go higher if we had to. I've got little pieces on there as well, which is kind of unimportant. But what is important is this next thing I'm about to show you. Baratect is now a thing because we took out the old nasty light that was in here before. You guys have been following along, know how bad that was. I installed this this week. This is our new light. Mrs. Bricktech picked it out. I put some daylight bulbs in there and made it look just fantastic. And I'm very happy with that. But what I'm not happy with is this bar. This countertop is just, it's the worst. Oh, I could pull this out and have a seat here while I talk to you guys. New bar stools picked out by Mrs. Bricktech. I don't, I'm not feeling the, uh, the, the studs on the side here. But she said it made it look, uh, give it some character, I guess. I'm more of like a simple man. But uh, you can sit here at the bar. This is something that I've dreamed about for a long time is to have bar attack become a thing. And the only thing that's holding me back right now, which isn't really holding me back, is this countertop. This was this house was built in 1993, I believe. And believe it or not, in 1993, this probably would have been in style. This would have been something that people would have selected for their home. But these days, it's just not. So this is, I'm going to put black in here. You could probably guess, like that's my... That's my jam is all kinds of black accessories. So we're gonna do black countertop here, here on the other side of this, which you can see there and back there. And I'm gonna get some new handles for this. I gotta show you the handles inside here. But oh, first I wanna show you what this is gonna look like when we're sitting here. I don't know if this is gonna actually be a thing, but you know, I could sit here and we could do ourselves some live streams and stuff. I think the background looks kind of cool. You can see the backlog back there, like depending on how I position things. I think this is really great. Like we could have a thing here. And uh, yeah, I think that's cool. So coming around here, going to try to clean up after myself. That's a, that's a big thing that I need to learn. <laughs> but uh, let me show you these handles, guys. Prepare to cringe. They are, uh, they're leaves and they're like swirly leaves. So we're going to get straight black handles for this that just kind of come down like that. We got, uh, we can put wine in here. I've got a couple things on display. This is going to be like a display piece. You know, that, that thing that I showed you over there with all the Brickatex stuff in that you guys have sent us. I think it's going to get loaded up in here because it's got glass, no dust. We got sink detect. Um, this, <laughs> this is funny. You want to drink a Dr. Pepper. This is actually a candle that someone sent us. I thought that was kind of funny. So I, I always like keep seeing it. I'm like, Oh, Dr. Pepper. Then I'm like, Oh shoot. It's a candle. But yeah. So countertop is in handles are like the one thing that needs replaced, but we got a decent area back here, right? Like you can walk through. I had this tile put in. This was all blue carpeting in here when we first moved in. Some of you guys probably remember that, but it was it was terrible. So I love this. And uh, the carpeting, I, I'm i kind of down with, but it's like super thick. And sometimes you can lose like your pieces on there. And it's gray, which makes it hard to see when you're building some things that have gray pieces and you lose. But uh, last part of this, I guess, let's see if we can get some more lights on over here. I'm a lighting guy. I love lights anytime, <laughs> anytime you can get them. This is just a shelf that I have over here. Shelf attacked got out of hand when it came to shelves. So I actually kind of started limiting them a little bit, but this one I was like, hey, why don't I put my, my camera gear and stuff on? So I got my camera bag full of camera stuff. My drone is in here. This I plan to make a frame for, and we're gonna have this up. These are my friends and me and the fam at Philly Brickfest, actually at Outback Steakhouse. My old computer's there. I got some miscellaneous stuff here. A VR headset, an extra microphone. The Stranger Things box is down there. How to assemble my second table is here. This over here, kind of like finishing off, this is a hope chest with all of our family memories in it from back in the day that I really had no other place for. It does not look good there at all. It's kind of one of those things that I wanted to keep in a secure location where it's temperature controlled and not have to worry too much about it. So that's why that is there. I'm gonna flip some things over here, make sure I'm not showing anyone's address because I'm keeping mail on top of there, but I feel like that's a good place to store mail. And I'm sorry we're so dark. It's all my lights that, that get the best of me. So that's going to be kind of like mail attack corner. When we pick up mail, which I do like once every one or two weeks, I'm just going to stack it there and it's kind of out of the way. Otherwise, what I'd probably have back here, if this was an ideal world, if I didn't have that hope chest there, I'd probably do some type of table. The people that lived here before us, what they did is they had like a round tall table there, almost like a, a bistro type thing with some chairs around it. So you can almost have like a kitchen of sorts down here where that's like the kitchen and the bar and stuff. But I have big dreams for this place back here. I know like it looks a little outdated and stuff a little bit. We've got the fridge back here. I should show you guys the magnets. I'm starting a magnet collection. So if you don't want to send a sig fig or if you want to send, you know, a sig fig and something else to be remembered by, everybody's magnets are going to go in this fridge until it's completely full. If you guys want to see inside the fridge, do you? 
We got Coca Cola. We got uh, iced tea and lemonade. Arnold Palmer. We got Sprite. We got ginger ale. This is this is not very healthy. These are Mrs. Brickatex. I don't drink, but uh, yeah, we got Mountain Dew. These are Clarkies. Just basically drinks down here. This corner right over here, you guys have probably seen this if you watch Missing Pieces. This is the background. We've got this Lego sign that was sent to us by the Kirby's. It's like a mosaic that they made. And I love the way that looks. I'm thinking about getting a light strip around that to light that thing up all different colors. It'd be kind of cool. We've got my 65 inch TV down here. That is a Samsung. And this is where, uh, this is like a receiver, which is for the, the surround sound speakers that goes to this projector, which I can't use now because I have that in the way. But that's not a big deal. I'm not really worried about that. I probably wouldn't use it much anyway. Down under here, got PlayStation games and such. And on this side over here, Xbox. And all my like little vintage classic stuff. There's a uh, subwoofer there. And last but not least, this is our chocolate lab. She's in the studio. She likes to hang out down here. She likes the carpeting. And she just likes to uh, to sleep and relax. And now she actually has some floor space to do it. I think on that, we covered every single thing that's inside this studio here, at least as it stands as of August, 2020. Again, I'm very proud of this because if you saw this literally like 12 hours ago, I was up until midnight last night, just like I was in the zone. If you would have seen this 12 hours ago, you, you'd just be like shocked because this was a disaster zone. And now it's something that I can be proud of. It's a place of creativity. It's a place that I actually feel comfortable in and that I can thoroughly enjoy. And I can bring that enjoyment to you and hopefully you get enjoyment as well. It's like a, it's like an enjoyment cycle or something. I don't know. What am I even talking about right now? Thank you guys for, for attending my tour. Oh man, it's, it's pretty cool. And, uh, I'm just, uh, I'm just excited to, to have all this. So thank you guys for watching. And I guess on that, we'll see you in the next studio tour. All right, guys, now that everyone is gone, and it's just the most super hardcore of viewers that are here. I want to show you guys the thing that I'm not so proud of, but it exists. And that is our storage room. Come with me into the dungeon here. <laughs> here it is. It's, uh, it's, it's not so good. And this right here is why, let me get some light in this place. This right here is why Box Lives needs to end because this is taking up all of the space and those are all just Lego boxes with sets inside of them. But this is Lego storage. I got an old CRT TV. We've got sets that need broken down. This is all Lego stuff back here. These are my toys from my childhood. More Lego stuff. This entire room is essentially just Lego stuff, but it is somewhat organized. Like it's it's not terrible. It could be worse. I can still walk through here, which is nice. I just wanted to show this to you so you can see that maybe it's not all just roses and rainbows everywhere. It's, you know, there's a secret backstory to everything. I will say this though, it's much better to have a space like this where it's contained and I know where everything is and it's properly stored than just to position the camera in a certain way inside my other studio out here just because the other back half of the room is a giant mess, which is how things kind of used to be. So. I'm happy about this. This place is going to kind of stay the same other than the improvements I told you. This back here, this is going to be this is going to be a lot of work here. And this area up here I want to turn into my RC workshop, which is sort of what it is right now, like charging and batteries and all of my stuff is going to be in here. So that's going to be kind of what uh, what that becomes. Now the video is officially over. I'm curious to see how many people actually made it to this point. I'm going to say a secret word right now and I want to see how many people comment it. How about we use the word secret tour. Yeah. Type secret tour in the uh, comments if you're still here with me at this point and we'll see who got here. It'll be fun.